Hello everybody out there in the wine world. This is Bill Elsie with wines.com and today we are wrapping up our installment of the wines of Washington State with a focus on the Mercer Estates, um, producing wines from the Columbia Valley and uh, some of the other uh, sub-AVAs in the state of Washington. So what we're going to taste right now is the uh, 2008 uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is under the uh, Columbia Valley Appalachian. It's actually uh, a blend of fruit that comes from uh, the Horse Heaven Hills sub-AVA of uh, the Columbia Valley and also the Wallook Slope. So two different uh, smaller Appalachians uh, go into this blend. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a whirl. <clears throat> okay, so on the color, a, a pretty dark color. This is approaching, uh, it's very concentrated garnet, uh, kind of the dark purple characteristics to it, but it's bright um, and it has, you know, it's very gorgeous. This is a, a little bit of a darker color Cabernet Sauvignon. Beautiful nose. Uh, very uh, floral with this rich violet and like a dark rose petal type of, of floral aromatics coming through to it. Um, cherry, black cherry, blackberry, a little bit of blueberry. Um, aromas coming through on the nose as well. There's some nice spiciness to this, a little bit of like a nutmeg and a cinnamon type of spice. But it, and again, it's not all fruit driven. There are some other elements. The um, there's some earthy kind of characters coming through, a little bit of like a like a fresh turned earth that I'm really enjoying. Um, there's also this black currant note coming through. So. Typical descriptors used for Cabernet Sauvignon, but um, not just one dimensional in any way. A lot of fruit, a lot of different characteristics as well. Yeah, and this is why I always encourage people to expand their horizons and try Cabernet Sauvignon or Syrah or Merlot from Washington State because you get this balancing act that it just doesn't seem like you get in a lot of other areas where there, I mean, this is a, it's a very clean wine. There's a lot of fruit to it. It's got great viscosity, it's got great mouthfeel and texture. Um, and there's this cherry and blackberry fruit that's really coming through. Um, there's that black currant, this is kind of that uh, creme de cassis type of characteristics coming through, but it's not just fruit driven. All the way through the mid palate, all the way through the back, there's this underlying uh, spiciness that I can tell comes through from some oak aging, but there's also this like fresh forest floor, a little bit of like a, like a cedar character, some earth elements to it that are really enhancing the finish of this wine. So it's not one dimensional at all. It's like you get one foot in the new world and one foot in the old world and then Washington State kind of meets right there in the middle. And that's really appealing to me. It's a modern style, but it still has the elegance of the old world. Let's try another, another taste here. I think this wine is approachable now. It has firm tannins, not aggressive tannins, but firm tannins. I think you could keep sit on this for a while as well and kind of watch the other nuances develop over time. And this is only a 2008 vintage, so it's gonna have a little bit more time um, in the bottle, probably around 10 years or so at least, I would think, to, um, to keep to develop. But this wine is, um, this is tasty stuff. I'm gonna try one more sip, that's how much I like it. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening to my reviews on the wines of the Mercer Estate here, uh, but don't let that uh, be the end of the discussion. I want to know what you think about the wines of Washington, about Washington Riesling, about Washington Cabernet. What do you think about these wines as well? Hit me up on Twitter, at Bill Elsie, or you can keep the discussion going with us on our Facebook page, wines.com, or on Twitter at wines.com.